Hey guys, Mark Galloway here. Merry Christmas, everyone. It's Christmas Eve. Well, by the time this is uploaded, it's either going to be on Christmas or the 26th. Alright, so today is Christmas Eve, 2017, and we're going to head up to our traditional Christmas Eve party right in about a couple hours, but I'm already starting to get ready. Oh, by the way, if you're starting to wonder, if you're wondering why I'm talking so weirdly, it's because right here, I have my very own ab stimulation. I'm sorry you had to see that. Alright, so I do go to the gym, but this but this is a machine that I've been hearing all over about uh, about all over social media, and um, I decided to get one, and I, I would have to say it's working, because I'm already feeling like some sort of burning sensation in a way. So I mean, like I'm trying to use it as much every day as pot. I'm trying to combine it with going to the gym and using this thing every day. So I would ha I would say it's working, but I mean right now I mean I mean it is shrinking, but I mean it's it's gonna take some time. Okay, but anyways, I made my um my red velvet balls for the Christmas day for Christmas day dessert for the family. And um, what we usually do at this Christmas Eve party is uh, like what we did when we were kids. We were we would um. You know, it's this everyday thing. You know, we play around and like you know, we had some dinner and then we would just dress up in our jammies and then um, so and then one of our uncles would dress up as Santa Claus and then we would have a picture and then and then we would take a picture together, but and then we would open our sacks of presents prior to Christmas. Those were the fun times. But as we grew up. Our cousins, my cousin, no, my cousins, me included, we took turns dressing up as Santa. But then, but like, they didn't take, come in to take pictures. It was just like him just running around and then just disappearing. But as time went past on us growing up, we then realized it was just our uncles and our, just, you know, all of us pretending to be Santa. So we all knew it and we, we gave, we got immune to it and then, so we the Santa the Santa part of the party it's no longer a thing. So, anyways, um, what we do now on Christmas Eve we do the same thing. We do dinner, we do partying, we dress up in our jammies. But what we do is that we exchange a, a secret gift exchange. We take like we put our hands inside of a basket, pull out a piece of paper, see um, our cousin's name and then we buy them a present for a minimum of about 75 or 80 dollars and then um, we buy them the present and we introduce them to it at the party and then that's so on and it anyways guys I'm just gonna finish getting up ready I'm just I'm just finishing editing the video right now for the red velvet balls and then um, I'm gonna finish getting ready and we're gonna be heading down to the party I'm taking my conversion man to the party because I've been talking with one of my uncles about putting in a new bed in it along with some features and I, I took some measurements of the drawers and the bed and um, hopefully we have everything set in the plan. Um, I'm actually paying my uncle to put in a bed for me. I mean, I am doing some partial work on it too. Um, he's not doing it himself entirely, by the way. So anyways, guys, I'm just going to hop out of here for a little bit and then um, I'll catch you back in a, about a sec. Okay, we're it's 11:36. Uh, we're gonna leave in about two and a half hours. Okay, and I'm gonna also gonna announce this on my main channel too. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, Mr. Marky50, there's no capitals here. Um, here it is. Um, I don't know if you can see it. The, yeah, I think you can barely can. Mr. Marky50. I think I'm also gonna try and link in my Facebook too. Um. So right here, this is Legoville. This is a city that I've been having in my room for about a few years now. And then over time, I haven't used any videos or anything to make it. I haven't even been able to keep up with stop motion or anything. So once my Lego Fan 506 channel reaches 10,000 subscribers, the mystery box will be open and I'm gonna rename the channel and I'm going to be giving up the city um, I don't I don't I might keep the display cases but the rest of the city is gonna be going but I might I'm also gonna keep the planes maybe I'll think about the airports but I, I think I might keep them because if I just sell the airport itself without the plane that came with it people would complain but uh 
the reason that's one that's not one of the reasons why I'm giving up on it. The other reason is that like I want to get like a brand new bed. It's not that this bed was I just felt like this bed wasn't uh, feeling too comfortable. And I want when I get a new bed, I want to clean it up a little bit and get new pillows. And also what I want to do is like maybe get like a mini sofa and a little table in case if I bring anything to eat and then just like put it right here in the center and then I don't, and then that's prob that's probably just gonna be it until I figure out what I'll do next. I just want to be sure, like I just want to have room to go around the room. So that's pro that's mainly the reason why I'm. So those are the two main reasons why I'm cleaning up this room. It's but the other things that will be staying is the posters, the closet, you know, everything else is staying. But it's just gonna. So what? Oh, you're probably gonna be asking, what are you gonna do with this bed then? Well. My dad does own like a small house in somewhere in upstate New York. So, and he is like renovating it still. So this bed is probably gonna be going up to the house to be going into, I don't know, maybe a small guest room or something, I don't know. But uh, I just want like to have like a bed that would reach up to like this part right here of the door and then just maybe go a little bit, just kind of like wide out. And I just want to be sure it has like a comfortable feel to it so I wouldn't have to sleep in the guest room anymore. I love sleeping in the guest room. It's good. It has a really great bed. But this is what I want to have of my room to make sure that this bed is going to be comfy enough. But anyways, guys, that's uh, my next update. I'm going to go clean up a little bit and just make sure we're having everything ready. Okay, we're about to leave for the party. So we're going to be taking my conversion van, but I'm going... To, well, not all of us we're taking separate two separate cars me and my mom are going to take this conversion van i'm ta i'm not taking my car but i want to take my i'm not taking my car for this trip the reason being is that like i want to bring this conversion van and show it to my uncle rob and go over the measurements for uh, a new development i have done some like conversion stuff um some upgrades in my van before on the channel but i want to go a little bit extreme on this one not two I want to insert a bed with drawers where we could put clothes, shoes, and accessories. Even a flat board that I could roll out in case if I want to have my own cookout, like if I want to cook my own steak, a burger, hot dog, whatever I want to. Just like have a board and just like have like a to-go grill on there and then just, you know, do I want to do on there. And then, and then just like, and then we're, and then the mattress is for another time when we get that measured out. But right now, I'm gonna see what my uncle is gonna think once I discuss this bed measurements. Okay, we're here at my grandmother's house. We just, uh, well, okay, what I forgot to show on camera is that like we had like a tray of shrimp and um, cocktail sauce, dipping shrimp and cocktail sauce. And we also brought in some, a gift exchange. So, we actually just dropped them in right now. I just had to go back to my van and get the last of my accessories. So I had my cell phone, my headphones, my camera right here, and my measurements right here. This is the measurements for the bed and the drawers and the board that I want to include in it. So, let's go right on inside. I mean, we're the first ones here basically, but we're just waiting on everyone else right now. Okay, now my mom is just telling me to get some stuff from the pool house out there. Usually they would, she would, they would have this thing boarded up, but um, we don't, but we just have it locked, uh, it's closed up for the winter. We have some beer, light beer, Rolling Rock, light, Budweiser, Bud Light, and there's also Bud Ice in here, over there. And now, we're going presumably to get some more drinks uh, let's see uh, so there's a oh okay yeah we have some food in here so um, let me see oh, yeah we have some food in here we have eggplant and there's also gonna be some uh, ham and such like that I can't count everything babe well we're gonna bring all this inside and probably have this refrigerated I'm gonna turn this camera off for a second because I got to use both hands Merry Christmas. Yeah, Joe says Merry Christmas. It's always like that. It's always.
is the favorite party? Your opinion? The best party of the family is Christmas Eve. Is that your opinion? My opinion. Yep. I wanted to make sure it wasn't the setup. Not you haven't said hi to the camera lately, have you? Uh, it's been a while. Yeah, I think you. Some of you might remember Casey. He, she she was in that ping pong video, the beer pong. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun making it. It wasn't perfectly executed as I thought it would come out, but, but we still had fun. And you know, it's you know, my cousins are always like, well, let's make a film together. But like you know, sometimes it doesn't come to my mind. Yeah. Another one coming soon though. Yeah, as soon as I get it all storied out. Shags is usually the favorite to come here. Your camera shy little guy. Not even a bark. You're just tired. Also, like this is like the, the favorite part, like one of the favorites of the family traditional di uh, dinner, uh, lunch here at the Christmas Eve party. There's sushi, sh a shrimp and cocktail, and there's like meat and cheese, like right here, like salami, and, yeah, salami and cheese, all that. It's really delicious and addictive. You can't help but stuff it. Alright, this right here is a stuffed mushroom. And like this is the plate of all my sushi, salami, and bacon strip. So let's see, take a little bite out of this uh, stuffed mushroom. That's good. The sushi is like, you know, it just has all that, you know? And all the salami, bacon, you know, all trust just trust me on that. It's very good. Oh, this is just yeah. Well, yeah. Usually, this is just like a documenta documentation, just like you know what I do with my family, just like what I do on my social life, I just like something I do when I'm not making doing what I do on my other channel. Yes, it is. It is. All right. Oh, I wasn't sure if I had the camera on my face, but like, all right. I had like two plates of sushi, and no kidding about this. I'm already. I was already full at the moment. So, but luckily, uh, dinner's not for about another two or three hours. Uh, anyways, um, there's someone. There's someone I want to introduce that might be some in some vlogs or skits in the future on my channel. This is Ashley. This is uh. This is my cousin Joe's girlfriend. Like, we we met actually. Uh, was it last Christmas? Yeah, uh, Andy's party last year. Yeah, or at, that was last week. I first met you at the last year's Christmas party, and the craziest thing is that we didn't see each other again since we had a good time. Yeah, very cool. I thought we met at Andy's party last year. No. Last week, I it, that was last week. Was it, Joe? <laughs> or, or did I, I don't remember if we did meet at Andy's party, but either way, we didn't see each other that much. Oh yeah. Yeah, they were here. You guys met last year. Oh yeah. But, yeah, I know. So, so, so you just want to say? You want to say? I don't know. I don't know what to say. How is that? She is uh, going to graduate school, South University, vocational therapist. She is a borderline genius. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I was about. I don't know if I was gonna say tell them a little bit about yourself. I didn't want to do it. Take it too personal. I was just like gonna say. I was in a mix. I was in a mixture. If if she wanted to say hi or something, that was all. <laughs> all right. Was, okay. So this is uh, the first uh, gift that I was given. From, uh, it's by my grandmother, uh, Patricia Morrissey. Let's see what's in here. Okay. We have a little sack. It's on zips. This is a uh, pretty adorable. A piece of paper. Uh, I think this is like some sort of like cup holder or wristband or something, because like it's, I don't know. It just feels really comfortable and soft in a way. I, I'm gonna check one more time. I think that was all that was in there. Yep, that was it. Let's take a look at this. Oh my gosh! A check for two hundred and twenty-five dollars. Well, thanks, thanks, Dee. That's a really good gift. Merry Christmas. Okay, so there was something that we did off camera that I feel so regretful for not getting on camera. 
I, because like I, I don't know because like I was getting everyone and then like as we were leaving I didn't have my camera on me I felt like I didn't need it but I should have and I'm so sorry but uh, okay so we were just like having a we were just having a conversation and then last time if you saw my vlog from Halloween when everyone was at my house if everyone was at my house no when everyone was at my house um, we all sat in my van, but we couldn't drive around the block or anything because the van was all, like, stuck by all the cars and everything. So, me, Joe, Annie, Ashley, Matthew, uh, Kenneth, and Joe, we all went into the van. We drove, like, down the street, around the block, and then just, like, testing everything. I was, like, talking to them about, like, what I... Sorry, I was having, I just had a drink and, uh, so, um, we, so we all just, like, drove down the street, and then, like, and then I was, like, talking about, like, why I got this van, how much I got it for, like, how, or how did I buy it, or when did I bought it, what I did with it, where I drove and everything, I was, like, talking about, like, like, what details are gonna be made, and I was talking to them about the stereo I had installed in the van, and like it was like just a surreal mo it was like pretty amazing to them so yeah this was even ashley's first time riding in the van and it it was even it was probably amazing and it, you know it was just so real so that's all i have to say about that moment okay we just got the word that dinner is all ready everyone's coming upstairs this is like one of the parts where we um, you get, it's like um, all you can eat. We get our plates, make our plates, uh, find our assigned seats. Like there's uh, many seats where we have our name signed. And then we, once, and then before we eat, we have our communion say grace and then like we stuff it in. <laughs> and then once we do that, we get in our jammies and then it's time for gifts. Sis to everyone. These ideas which you have to receive from God bounty to Christ our Lord. Amen. Here, here. Yes. Thank you for everybody who's in my family. I'm glad we are, but we had no choice. No choice. Read it. It's one of my favorite snacks. That's my plate there. Get a closer to the glass. Is this a Santa glass? Did you get the young and the old one? Yeah, the young one's there. <laughs> yeah, the old one's more hilarious. <laughs> like, true. Like, I, I always like the like, like, so <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, oh yeah, that was mine right there too. You drink that, you like that beer? Yeah, it's a good one, it's a good one. <laughs> Elementary. All right, so we just we were just we're just finishing up dinner right now. Boy, I'm I'm so full. So there's like tons of there's like a ton of food that we uh, there was at at the at the serving table. There was meat. There was uh, ham. There was chicken. There was potatoes. There was rice and shrimp and vegetables. I was and even salads and like the, the salads is most important. I I, I ate the salad first. But I, I, but like as I was ending, I got so full. Because not only it's because mostly because of the sushi that we had earlier. Be careful eating too much sushi because as good as it is, that's really gonna fill up your stomach. So we're gonna finish our dinner and then we're getting into our jammies. That one, and I'm not gonna film us getting into it, but we're gonna get into our jammies and we're opening all the gifts and then. We're gonna wrap up the party, just like, you know, have as much fun as possible. And then, like, you know, that's all we have to say. Oh, also, I talked to my uncle, Rob, about the measurements of the bed. We have it in stored, and we're gonna have it in phase of the plan, or 
in production. We're gonna have it in production at around uh, Feb or sometime February or March after I come home from Indiana, and then we're gonna just go over the, the where the bed and uh, the bunk or the drawers go and make sure we have everything there because my because my next trip isn't until like a July or June so more time the better and I'm sorry if you can't really hear me there's a lot of talking in the background and I'm and I'm very sorry I cannot control it but I hope you guys can make out what I'm saying so that's so I told so I told my uncle about the bed and we have it in the plan phase right now so yeah that's all I had to say at the moment Okay, everyone's now getting their presents. That's my Aunt Maureen. I'm sitting in the crack. You're sitting in the crack. Yeah. Why are you calling me? Shaggy. Oh, that's Cute little doggy, Shaggy. I don't got I don't remember. New purses. We had a coach one time back. Nobody showed up with Brendan and this guy. So all our moms are getting per new purses. Okay, now we're all getting presents. Or, or is it our dads? Mr. Butler showed you that night. Yeah, no, yeah, no. It was like a good, like display hole, and then like from there, see you like make a picture over your head, and then you like throw back. Uh, Is that a new is that a new shirt, Dad? Oh yeah, it's a new shirt. <laughs> or new clothes. <laughs> These are like new 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 PJs for the dads. I thought it was a hacky sack. I like that, didn't it? I had a little scoop. I had a little scoop over there. I thought that was a kick sack or something. This is yours from me, Ken. All the cousins are now, all of us are now getting presents, the kids. We tell each other. It is too I get Anthony every time. I get Anthony every time. Two technologies. 
Yep, a GPS hiking thing. I hope you like it, man. Yeah, it's cool. All right. Thanks. Good. Okay, Joe's gift. So, someone from Walmart. All right, look, I, I, need to get, I need to get Joe's gift first. Come on. Oh. What is it? Why are they hyping it up like this? Oh, yes! <laughs> what is it? What is it? I went away. The drone! Oh, you have your, you have your own drone? That's sick. Oh, let's, yeah. see, let's see it for the camera. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, stop it! Yes! Yes! yes. That is sick. I'm definitely gonna have to So I open mine. That's awesome. It's mine for man. It's mine for man. Whoa! He's got kids. He's Slater, baby. This is one of the new guys, James Ellsworth. He was a. He, he's that famous jogger. That's sweet. You got three. Wow. Oh, T.J. Perkins. This is a guy that used to be in TNA. That, that is. An, oh, there's one more. Sweet. All right, keep it going. Keep it going. Whoa, a shirt. Whoa. That my own TJ Perkins shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. And you're, you're the man. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Is that that's a mini drawer? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Any man with two hands has a fighting chance. That's his catchphrase, Pete. That's sick. It's a nice one. He's got some good hair. Yeah, you know, in that chin, he's chinless. His finishing move, get this, it's no chin music. Oh, yeah. Uh, TJ, uh, yeah, TJ Perkins, you know, he, he, he was the guy who did Manic. Oh, of course. He, and he was a WWE Cruiserweight Championship. It's the only title he's won so far. That's, that's really awesome. I gotta, I gotta secure these things somehow. That is awesome. Uh, what'd you get, Pete? I got this pretty sweet baseball jersey. Oh, oh, the Mariner, right? Is that it? Mariners. Okay. Uh, was there anything for Ashley? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. We have our desserts. We have a cheese chocolate cake. We have cookies and cannolis, and that's just about it. We don't really have anything too big. Um, I feel threatened to fall asleep. I feel so exhausted. I want to get some sleep so bad, but what I want to do when I get home first is just start putting this vlog together at least for a little bit and then uh, well I'll make sure that all the footage is good and then I'll wrap it up right here so I'm gonna eat some this I'm gonna make my dessert plate and then say goodbye to everyone and then we're gonna head back home and then I'm gonna get ready to fall asleep celebrate Christmas with the rest like a full-on cold, like tongue or whatever in it. <laughs> Perfect. Right. It, took him, it took him until he sipped it to realize. No, 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 we, no, we, okay, we didn't okay. even notice. We're like, oh, there's nothing in it, and then we're like, so what were you doing? What was the red drink? <laughs> okay, so after I finish up this part of the vlog, we're gonna wrap it up here. 
I mean, I would add it. I'm. <sighs> well, first of all, I do want to say subscribe to Lego Fan Five Zero Six, my main channel itself. This is that's where I upload all the stuff where I got for Christmas collections and you know so on. Um, so I mean, like, there's a, you know, what I, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Anyways, I'm just gonna reshow my Christmas Eve gifts, and then I'm gonna close up the vlog. Hold on, my dog Riley's barking. I let her outside for a little bit. And, oh, gotta turn on the tree and the rest of the lights in a minute. We have everything set for dinner. Well, we're having lobster, crab legs, potatoes, vegetables. And, uh, so, yeah, and uh, we also have fruit cake for dessert, red velvet balls, and everything. So, there's also some lights up there. Let's uh, turn on the tree right here. Hopefully this camera is aiming towards it. I rotated it a little bit, and there it is. All the presents are under the tree. So yeah. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna reshow all my Christmas Eve gifts, and then I'm gonna close it out for the night because I'm really desperate for some sleep. Just after a crazy night out there. My cousin Brendan said, like, you know, when you eat a lot, it really gets all in there in your body and weighs you down, you know. So, this stuffed moose or reindeer came with the pajamas. Riley! Riley! Let's see if I can get her reaction. We got, got you a new toy. Have fun, girl. And uh, she does take it. All right. Well, anyways, um, I'm gonna reshow my Christmas Eve gifts right here. We have the James Ellsworth Elite 50. I believe this is, is it. Elite is it Elite 50? 55. All right. Elite 50 Series 55. I'm glad that they made a Elite figure of this guy because he deserved it. Like it, if we knew if he was gonna be released, and. Uh, yeah, just we're gonna always take his advice. Any man with two hands has a fighting chance. The Heath Slater Elite action figure. I can't even see the series number. Well, yeah, the the Heath Slater Elite action figure with the SmackDown tag title, and T.J. Perkins, the WWE Network Spotlight. First time in the line. I'm gonna reshow that on the what I got for Christmas video. Oh, and forgot, and I almost I'm not gonna get this properly. I'm gonna lay it down for you guys. And TJ Perkins t-shirt. Uh, when I go to the Royal Rumble, this is what I'm gonna be wearing. Who knows if TJ Perkins is gonna be in the Royal Rumble. Anyway, guys, that's gonna wrap up for this vlog. I hope you guys had a great Christmas Eve. If you had a party. And I'm wishing you guys a merry, very Chris, a very merry Christmas. So I hope you guys have a safe holiday, a safe New Year's, and I want to thank you guys so much for the support on this channel and all that. Even if it's getting, even if it's a slow pace. So really, that's all I have to say. So if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and share this channel. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night.